Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Today's video is gonna be a short one, hopefully. Somebody commented on one of my video when I was talking about the main reasons why I went with the Pocket 6K over the Pocket 4K. And that person asked if I had a chart listing all the different compressions and essentially how long can you shoot on one SSD drive? Because this is something that is not really talked about around here. And this is definitely something you have to take into consideration when going with one camera or the other. So in today's video, I wanna give you a comprehensive chart of how long you can shoot on a one terabyte uh, SSD drive on both the 6K and the 4K at all compressions and resolutions and whatever. All right, let's go. All right, here we go. Please excuse the, um, the framing. So what I did is I connected a brand new Samsung T5 SSD to the Blackmagic 4K. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go through the menus and different compressions and different codecs and see how long you can shoot for. You can see here, um, this blue thing here, it shows 147 minutes. That means that you can shoot for 147 minutes on that SSD until it's full. Um, this all comparison is gonna be at 25 frames per second. Uh, if you wanna go above that, let's say 50, just divide the amount of minutes by two and you should be good. All right, so let's start with constant bit rate. Um, Black Magic Raw, so 3.1 compression, 3 to 1 compression, 4K DCI. So as we saw, it's 147 minutes. 5 to 1 would be 246, 8 to 1 is 393, 12 to 1 is 587 minutes of recording. If you want to go in Ultra HD, 3 to 1, 157 minutes, 5 to 1, 262 minutes, 8 to 1, 418 minutes 12 to 1 626 minutes i'm not gonna i'm not going to hd because like don't shoot hd so now let's go into prores so uh prores h prores hq 4k dci 168 minutes 422 253 minutes lt 360 proxy 816 in the ultra hd hq 180 minutes, Ultra HD 422, 269 minutes, Ultra HD LT 384, and Ultra HD Proxy would be 871 minutes. That's a lot of footage. All right, so that's it. We don't have a, don't have a lot of different options in 4K because you can only shoot 4K and HD. But um, now let's switch to the 6K. All right, so same thing here. Okay, we're gonna go through Blackmagic Raw first. So you know the drill now. I'm just gonna try to go through them as fast as possible because there, there are a lot of options there and I don't want this video to be like too long. So Blackmagic Raw, constant rate three, three to one, 61 minutes, five to one, 103 minutes, eight to one, 165 minutes, and 12 to one, 247 minutes. 6K, two for one, um, 3 to 1, 83 minutes, 5 to 1, 139 minutes, 8 to 1, 222 minutes, 12 to 1 would be 333. So 5K, 3 to 1, 75 minutes, 5 to 1, 126 minutes, 8 to 1, 201 minutes, 12 to 1, 302 minutes. 3.7K anamorphic, uh, let's get through it. Um, 113 minutes, 5 to 1, 188 minutes, 8 to 1, 301 minutes, 12 to 1, 450 minutes. And let's go in 2.K, so 3 to 1 would be 297 minutes, 5 to 1 would be 495 minutes, 8 to 1, 788, and 12 to 1, 1,000. <laughs> 1,174 minutes. I'm not gonna go through constant quality because the SSD would fill up faster or slower depending on what you're shooting, so yeah. And in terms of ProRes, I'm not going into ProRes because you get essentially the same results as on the 4K, so yeah. All right, so that's it for today's video, guys. Thanks for tuning in. I hope this will help you make the right purchase for the need that you have and the budget that you have. Um, this is not something that is really talked about, but yeah. I hope it was helpful. If you want to see more content like this uh, about filmmaking, gear, and everything, please make sure you like that video and you subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next one. Salute.